Hello, my name is Diego and welcome to my garden. As you can see, my beehive has been very busy lately. I want you to meet a friend of mine. Zzz. Hello, I'm little honeybee. Hello, little honeybee. You're just in time. I was about to read a book called Hello, Little Honeybee from A to Z. Oh, a book about me? What fun! Now we can all learn about honeybees together. Let's get started. A is for antenna. Antenna are like our mouths and noses. Bees use them to find daisies and roses. Bees for beehive. Beehives are a home in which honeybees stay. They come in all shapes and keep predators away. C is for honeycomb. The walls and floor of the hive are made of honeycomb. Tiny hexagons are the shape inside their home. D is for drone. A simple bug, really, the drone bee is such. He mates with the queen, but doesn't do much. E is for eyes. Two eyes on the side can help see a petal, while the three on top find places to settle. F is for flying. Four wings beat 20 miles an hour to fetch food. Flying as far as five miles to feed the brood. G is for garden. Visiting the garden filled with fragrant blooms, enjoying each bright flower on its daily zooms. H is for honey. Honey is tasty, sticky golden goo. Honeybees eat it for breakfast, and we can eat it too. I is for insect. Not crawly or creepy do honeybees appear. These insects are fuzzy and fill us with cheer. J is for jobs. The worker bees have many jobs. They do them all day long. A busy hive is always buzzing. It's like a working song. K is for beekeeper. One beekeeper job is to collect the honey. Wearing a big mesh suit, they look kind of funny. L is for life cycle. Honeybees' life cycles happen in stages, from birth to death, two months as it ages. M is for move. Movement and dance are how honeybees can speak. Wiggling and waggling maps to the plants they seek. N is for nectar. Honeybees love nectar, so sticky and so sweet. They use their tongues to drink it. What a tasty treat! O is for organized. Honeybees are organized. They do all their chores. They take out the garbage and sweep all the floors. P is for pollen. Sprinkling powder pollen here and there, honeybees make the world beautiful everywhere. Q is for queen bee. The honeybees have a queen who is ruler of the hive. She lays tons of eggs. This job is her jive. R is for royal jelly. Not for your toast, but for a queen's belly. This nutritious food is called royal jelly. S is for stingers. Girl honeybees have stingers, but be aware, they only sting when feeling threatened or scared. T is for tongue. To slip past a flower's petal protectors, Tongues unfold into nectar collectors. U is for ultraviolet. Honeybees see with ultraviolet light. It helps them see flowers and colors so bright. V 
V is for vibrate. Before they can sleep, they vacate the hive. They vibrate their wings to keep it cool inside. <laughs> W is for worker bee. Worker bees keep a hive alive and strong. They do their many chores all day long. X is for beeswax. Beeswax is sturdy stuff used to make hives. Bees chew it, then glue it in cells with six sides. Y is for yellow. Honeybee stripes keep them safe every day. The yellow and black keep others away. Z is for buzz. Zipping and zigzagging is what a bee does. Super fast wings are what make all the buzz. That was fun! Honeybees like you are really amazing! Yes, we are! But it's time for me to go back to the beehive to make more honey. Because as you know, honeybees are always busy. That's true! Before I go, do you want to hear a funny joke? Of course! I love bee jokes! What does a queen bee use to style her hair? Hmm, I don't know. What? Her honeycomb, of course! That's a good joke! Goodbye, honeybee! See you later in the garden!